imagine being in your mid-50s, wonderful family, successful career, then one day you decide to take on a new challenge, to become a nurse. This morning we want to introduce you to Cindy Hollander, a recent graduate of Tennessee Tech's nursing school. Cindy and her husband spent decades in ministry, then COVID hit picked up their life and they headed to East Tennessee to care for her parents. It was there she saw the compassion of healthcare workers up close. So I was in and out of hospitals and doctor's offices and especially the month before my mom passed, I was in multiple different hospitals overnight and I saw amazing nurses who made all the difference. Why not her? She enrolled in Tennessee Tech's College of Nursing, and right away she wondered if she'd be up for the challenge. She told us about a journal entry she found that was made at the start of her journey. There were questions about, can I do it intellectually, emotionally, physically, every area? And when I read that journal, I actually cried because it was just such a sense of, oh my goodness. And that was four years ago when I first just started taking prerequisite courses. As she says, the staff, fellow students, her family, and everyone around her helped her get through it. Now she has a degree and a new job here in Middle Tennessee, making a difference in other lives. While I was in nursing school, I discovered really a passion for uh, mental health. And while I believe nurses in any capacity have the, the privilege to be right there to be a help and make a difference in the darkest part of, you know, a terrible situation for someone. I think especially in mental health, um, there's a huge need. Um, I actually work with adolescents right now and it does, it feels like I can be a calming, peaceful presence when someone else is maybe having the worst day of their life. Well, I loved all of my young uh, nursing student uh, buddies, cohort six, Tennessee Tech. Um, they're amazing. But I did find that I just had an understanding of pain, emotional pain, physical pain, financial pain um, that they just hadn't experienced yet. And I don't wish that on anyone, but I do believe that having those experiences makes me more empathetic and um, just better able to serve. We asked her what she would say to others who might be considering this type of big change in that stage of life. I would say it's never too late. Um, if you have a passion for something, if you have a desire to help people, um, it's amazing what you can do when your heart is fully into something. Um, and there's so much help out there, family, friends, but also institutions. Tennessee Tech was wonderful to me. Um, and so I would say, don't give up on your dreams. I don't care how old you are. You can do this. She also told us the support and sacrifice from her family helped her achieve this goal. Hey, that's terrific. Yeah, it's awesome.